Um, at the moment, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia has suffered uh, two bleaching events in two subsequent years. And so we're seeing uh, the Great Barrier Reef go downhill, especially in the northern end of the Great Barrier Reef. There has been significant mortality, and that is principally due to climate change in the last couple of years. So on the corals, of course, the temperature kills the corals, or they bleach at first and then some of them die if they can't support themselves on nutrients in the water column. When the corals die, uh, what we find is a lot of the housing for other organisms on the reef starts to disappear. And so what we expect then is to see less fish in, in the reef and so we expect to see a reduced content of fish on the reef and then there's all sorts of other dependents on the reef um, that live amongst the coral in addition to fish so lots of invertebrates make their homes in the reef so those should probably also suffer as a consequence of the reef going downhill. We expect the tourism is going to suffer if the tourism is dependent on divers going to see beautiful reefs. Um, uh, if you go elsewhere, Hawaii, you'll see the reefs going downhill. And then, of course, the warming of the water also causes sea level to rise. And there's a whole uh, heap of countries that live very close to the sea level at present, especially in the Pacific, that might actually disappear in the next few years as a result of this change. I think what we have to drive for now is all the citizens need to work to achieve the Paris Agreement. So we need to work to actually keep the CO2 levels down. If the temperature can increase and then stabilise, there's lots of time for organisms then to adapt and we might have reefs into the future and we'll minimise lots of other impacts associated with the climate change as well. What we need to do is move away from the fossil fuel intensive energy sources. We need to go to renewables and I think that move is well on the way at the moment. I think even economically it's becoming more viable. We need to just push hard to make sure that that's the avenue we select to take and that our governments sign on to.